So let's go for a drive in my 2019 F-250. I got a significant amount of weight on the truck. I got the Fisher snowplow on the front. It weighs about a, about a thousand pounds, maybe more. And uh, I got about 700 pounds of sandbags in the bed of the truck. So uh, with this wood frame that's in here, that's another, I don't know, 80, 90 pounds worth of weight. Plus my weight, we're gonna be close to 2,000 pounds of payload. Let's see how it does with this much weight on the truck. All right, inside the truck, let's get the snowplow picked up. All right, and let's hit the road. All right, driving down the road here. I got the truck in tow haul mode because we are carrying a significant amount of weight and so far so good i got the 430 gears it's definitely a big difference from the 3.73 gears that i had on the last truck and i'm not sure if i am totally sold on the 430s i mean i got them on this truck but i kind of missed the 7 the 3.73 gears and the reason for that is i got more pulling power with the 4.30 gears but with the well i got more I got the uh, I got more pu pulling power with the 430 gears, but with the other gear set that I had, the one that comes standard with the F250, the 3.73, uh, you get way better engine braking with that gear compared to the 430s. The 430s gives you all the takeoff power that you need, and it does make the truck feel faster, but it does feel more car-like and less truck-like. Uh, as far as the gearing is concerned, when you're cruising 80 miles an hour, you're at about 25. 100 rpm so it's not terribly high but also at the same time when you're on the top side and you're going like 30 35 maybe 40 miles an hour you're going to use all your gears you're going to be all the way in six in overdrive just by going about 45 miles per hour but i mean with this much weight it almost feels non-existent i mean it feels very peppy even with this much weight on it whereas the other truck with the other gear set would have felt a little bit slower but at the same time when you hit the brakes you really do feel the brakes a lot more on the truck with the 4.30 gear set compared to the 3.73 gears where you get a lot more engine braking and it just it stops better that truck had uh I want to say 25 to uh, it's hard to remember I think it had like 25,000 miles on it but the brakes were like brand new and the tires were worn out and I think the reason that the brakes lasted so much longer on that truck is because the tow haul mold on that truck gave you so much more engine braking than you get with this gear because it's it's further away from one to one meaning that the 3.73 is more of a highway gear. It's closer to one-to-one -one where you do get more torque. You have less speed. So, but it somehow makes the truck accelerate faster because if you think about it, you have unlimited RPM. So speed is not really an issue. Torque really is an issue. But at the end of the day, you don't really need to think about having 430 gears or worry about having 430 gears when engines nowadays make so much more power than they ever have i mean back in the day uh when you were talking 200 horsepower on a pickup truck then gears would be a big deal but when you're talking 430 foot pounds of torque and 385 horsepower you really might be better off going with the 3.73 gears versus the 430s and even though the 430s give you the highest tow rating you don't get the best engine braking in general the best braking in general so you get better braking with the 3.73 gear compared to the 430 so that's something to think about i do miss that bite that you'd have when you let off the gas and touch the brake you really get a bite and you feel every shift downshift pulling you back uh that might not be the best for the transmission as far as longevity is concerned this uh system will no doubt protect the transmission the 430 gears uh will technically protect your transmission from any kind of uh accelerated wear and tear because i mean everything is smoother with this 430 gear the shifts are smoother 
uh, you don't feel it shifting it's easier on the engine everything before the 430 gear before the rear end is gonna have less stress but then everything after the rear the rear gear will have a little bit more stress because the engine is gonna have that mechanical advantage with torque so you're gonna have more tire wear you're gonna have more uh, stress on a differential stuff like that more stress stress on the drive shafts more stress on the uh, half shafts but those components of the truck are pretty much uh, indestructible I mean the front end will wear out after a while but the size of the half shafts on the front is pretty insane it's, they just use huge components on the 250s 350s 450s even bigger components on the 450s another thing I noticed though going with the 430 gears is the four-wheel drive system is more powerful meaning like on somewhat semi dry pavement you're obviously not supposed to use four wheel drive on dry pavement but the reality is you will need it when you're plowing or whatever and it might be a little dry here and there and you're still gonna have to use your 430 gears uh, you will need to use your uh, four wheel drive on somewhat semi dry pavement the 430 gears gives the engine so much more power that it will power through the dry stuff a lot better and you don't get as much scuffing and scrubbing it really just powers through that a lot better compared to before where I kind of be scooting the front end would have that knuckle steering you get that that steering where your steering wheel just kind of jerks you get that a lot less with this gear set I noticed but um, aside from that that's one positive I've noticed so far I mean I haven't done any snow plowing yet with this setup but I will be if it ever snows. It's like 40 degrees right now in Michigan and it's January. We haven't had any snow at all this year. But um, definitely feels, like I said, it feels fast. Like it's very strange that it's this fast with this much weight. It feels like, I mean, obviously it feels like something's there compared to the truck without it because now the truck is not quite as quick. But it does not feel like uh, snow plow is on the truck. I think it almost feels like um, it almost feels like a normal amount of weight for the truck. Sorry about that, guys. I had a phone call, but check this out. Riding down the water here, man, it was suck to fall down there. A couple days ago someone fell down in that water with their car it was terrible they had to uh, get fished out but check out those houses there wow beautiful properties I think this is like one of the richest towns in America Gross Point Shores waterfront lake properties but anyway guys all in all the 430s are great uh, like I say, at 40 miles per hour here, we're in sixth gear. Uh, perfect for, you know, low end, low speed, you know, 45, 55 tops. But uh, on the highway, it does suffer a little. But if you're really loaded, if you're really towing, it will work out good. But I don't think, though, I mean, I don't think that the 430s should be the highest towing gear. Just for the fact that the engine braking is not um, as good with this gear set. Uh the the 3.73s have better engine braking and if you need that extra gear why not just hit this one button if for that last little bit and you can lock out six and you can have the the gearing just from using the transmission if you don't have the 430 gears the 430 gears kind of lock you into a certain gear set but you can lock out any gear and have more torque you know for a towing application using just that quick button but you know anyway let me know your thoughts do you guys like the 430s or 3.73s i mean it's not the end of the world it still is a drivable truck it's really fast significantly faster than it was with the 3.73 gears but you know it's like when you really floor it it just those rpms just sing and they just they just go right up to the max and it just goes through all those gears real quick and it just makes it makes speed really fast but for towing, I honestly like the 3.73s better for towing and hauling. Yeah, it's a little bit slower, but I mean, at the end of the day, that's going to be less wear on your tires. 
and uh, things like that. The 430 is going to push a lot harder, but I never really pushed hard anyway. I, I kind of got the truck up to speed at most times, maybe four or five miles per hour before I dropped the blade or whatever. I never really uh, needed that much pushing power. I mean, it's almost like if you're needing a lot of pushing power for plowing, you know, what are you doing? So I think if I could go back in time and redo everything, I would get the other gear. I would get the standard 3.73 gear. Ford knows what they're doing by putting that tr that gear in all the trucks and making the 430s optional. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.